man, I feel like an 80 year old man. I have all these really crappy thoughts going through my head, feeling anxious and whatnot. Um, I have sleep, poor quality. I've gained a massive amount of weight. I feel like my relationships are starting to fall apart. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, I just was not happy. Here are five lesser known reasons to become a runner after turning 40. As we get older, we naturally start to break down in a lot of different ways. I don't like that. I don't think any of us like that. However, there are some things that you can do to help combat the aging process when it comes to running. And when I turned 40, I knew that things had to change. I couldn't keep going down the same route. I had a problem with focus. I, could, I was like ADHD. There was always something next. It was like squirrel moment. <laughs> you know, taking a look what's going on over here, what's going on over here, then you come back and you focus. And I just had a hard time when I was in school and when I was just in conferences or just things like that. So I found that when you added exercise into the day, things changed. Look, I'm not one to sit down and go through like a crossword puzzle or Wordle or just doing puzzles in general. I'm not that type of guy. I am more of, I don't know, I just like to do things. I like to get out, I like to explore, I like to check out new places, I like to socialize. I'm just a very social animal, so to speak, right? And for me, sitting down and doing these other activities is so difficult. And that was until I started to run. Enhanced cognitive function is important. Running stimulates the production of brain-derived neurotropic factors. And that's a protein that supports the growth of survival of neuron. It can help improve memory, focus, and improve cognitive function, which especially is beneficial the older we age. That's something that I've experienced, and I know that it works. The more that I ran, my focus really started to change. And I knew that because I started to want to do crossword puzzles or doing a regular puzzle or, you know, participating in Wordle. That never happened before. But I found that it was something that happened from running. And over the last four years specifically, it has really made a difference. And to me, mental health is so important, but not for the reasons that, you know, we talk about when we say that. I mean, I'm talking about laser focused, right? Being hyper focused on getting something done, achieving it, crossing it off the list. That to me is something that has been improved because I've become a runner. It's no real secret that when you get older, your relationships with people go through a major shift and a change. When you're in your 20s, it's like, okay, bring it on. I want to party. I want to hang out with people. Or if you're the extrovert, um, maybe it's not with maybe one or two people. It could be a little bit different, right? You may not be that outgoing person. You may want to be more reserved and enjoy your um, company with your spouse, with your partner, with your very, very small group of friends, more of a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Or maybe you just like to just chill, read a book, watch Netflix, or that type of thing, right? But social interactions, social connections, I find break down as you get older. Because I find that it's harder to stay in contact with a large group of people. So some of my best friends I have when I was like or in my early 20s, right? Or late teens. That to me, I had some amazing relationships that I still have today that we can go weeks, months, maybe years without speaking, but go back on a phone call. And next thing you know, like we're way back when we were, when we were younger, it's kind of a cool thing that I've had these friends for as long as I have. However, they're spread out over a large part of the world. So I can't really get together with them. It's, it's kind of hard to do it that way. It's great to stay connected with our phones and whatnot, but the social aspect I find with running 
kind of helps fill in that gap because you're now with like-minded people. You're doing a sport that you all like to enjoy. And if you head out on the trails and you're having these same experiences that the other is having, you go for a drink afterwards, maybe you're going for a coffee, maybe you go for a beer, maybe you go for some food or whatever it is. It's that social connection that you have with other people. And as we get older, I find it's super important. Social connections. Look, joining a running, cr- joining a running club or participating in races can introduce a new community of like-minded people. Right? This can lead to new friendships, social support networks, which are important for mental health and well-being. Before I started to run, my sleep patterns were really all over the place. They weren't very good. And it's taken me a while to really dial that in. Like I would go to sleep, but I'd kind of wake up throughout the night. Now, when I go to sleep, I'm out for at least seven hours, eight hours straight. I just... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but man, my sleep quality just feels so much better. I feel awesome when I wake up in the morning. Better sleep quality. Like if someone told me that I would get better sleep by running, I'd sign up for it in a heartbeat. So running regulates your sleep patterns by reducing the stress and anxiety. And many runners find that their sleep quality improves significantly, which is, inc- which is crucial for overall health and recovery as you age. So to me, (laughs) I wish I had known that, right? But, you know, again, no one really tells you these things. I have non-running friends that say to me, I could never run. My knees would never be able to withstand the pounding. And I'm going to tell you something. When I started running, I kind of had that same thought. But the problem was, is my joints already hurt. And I wasn't even running. I was 100 pounds heavier, right? I had all this weight on me. And... I found that the heavier I had, or the, the heavier I was, the more, um, more skin issues I had because of the diet that I was on. Uh, what happened was I felt like I was, I was aging extremely fast and I was only in my 40s. Like, how is this possible that I feel like I'm like 80? How, like, not that I know what 80 feels like, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, how is this, how is this happening? So... I thought, you know what, I got to do something. So I started to walk and I felt better and better and better. I did that for probably a good three months. But then what I found is I wanted to go further because that's just something I like to do. I like to explore new areas. And I realized that if I would just stay with walking, I wouldn't be able to see all the places I would want to see. So I started to run. And as I started to run, Over the period of a couple of weeks and then months, I realized that I don't have a lot of the joint pain that I started off with. It started to dissipate. And so that leads into the whole bone density, right? Like that's where that comes into play. I just feel like I have a new lease on life that my joints feel stronger, that it's able to take the the four times of force by landing right? It's, I am able to do that for a long period of time, like 80 kilometers, like 50 miles of pounding. And I don't know. I just feel like it's really helped me a lot. Improved bone density. Weight bearing exercises like running can help maintain or even increase bone density. This is particularly important for those of us that are over 40 as bone density gradually or naturally decreases with age leading to a higher risk of osteoporosis and stress fractures. Before I started running, my blood pressure was extremely high. Like it was not a normal range. I wanted to see it kind of around the 125 over 80 mark, but it was upwards into the 169, like in the 170s over 110. Like that was insanity. And my doctor wanted to put me on blood medication for high blood pressure. And I looked at her and I go, you know, I really don't want to be on medication. I know that if I set my mind to do something, that I'll change. I I can, I can do this. So that's kind of started down this road of becoming a healthier person. So, you know, changing the foods that I ate, going pretty much plant-based was something that I just wanted to do because 
you know, I started to see um, athletes go vegan and I'm like, if they're vegan and they're running like a hundred mile races, like I could do this. Like Scott Jurek is one of the guys that I looked up to when it came to that. And I thought, man, oh man, like if he can do that, like I surely can change my diet and I can change as well, right? And I get all the nutrients I need from the foods that I'm eating. The more that I ran, I would kind of every now and then check in and see how I was doing with my blood pressure. And what I noticed was it started to go down. <laughs> go down so much that I realized that I was onto something. So nobody told me that running would do this. Nobody told me that changing my diet would do this. I mean, it's, I kind of had to start kind of, kind of researching on my own because I didn't really have anyone in my, in my sphere who was like really healthy that way. And yeah, the doctor said, you know, here's some medication. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want it. I'm going to change. But there wasn't a lot of hope. Like, you know, because again, doctors look at you and go, you know what? You're like the masses. You're never going to change. You know, you're in and out of the doctor's office in like less than five minutes. So, you know, what are you really going to do? But I took it upon myself. And that was my experience changing the diet doing the exercising, like starting off at like, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes up to an hour, then an hour and a half. Then I started going into these two hour runs. Then I started, you know, training for a half marathon and then it went to a marathon. So it just started to spiral and the improvements were amazing. Stress and anxiety are something that has been present in my life since I was small. Um, I was bullied a lot when I was a kid. I suffer from dyslexia. I've had a lot of challenges uh, growing up. Um, and in doing so, you know, I've always had to look at ways of coping, of way of dealing with the things that are happening in my life because I didn't know how to deal with these feelings and these, I don't know, it was really, really difficult. Boost mood and emotional resilience. Running releases endorphins, which are naturally mood elevators, and this can help combat symptoms of depression, anxiety, making you more emotionally resi resilient. It's a sense of accomplishment from setting and achieving running goals can also provide significant confidence boost. And so I turned towards track and field when I was younger because if I was getting bullied, because I struggled with reading and grammar, then I needed something else to prove to the bullies that I'm better than them. You know what I mean? Like I can be part of this social circle. And what happened was I hit the track and I became the best runner in my school, in elementary school and then middle school. But when I went to high school, I kind of all went away because I discovered dating and I discovered having a girlfriend. I discovered having a job. I started to discover like life in general. And a lot of my running started to disappear. And so it wasn't until like later on in life where for, I don't know, I just felt really anxious one day. And then I started to have like, you know, I didn't like the thoughts that I was having that was kind of creeping in really, really not happy thoughts. And I thought, oh, I haven't had these in a long time. Like what's going on? And so I kind of was like, I know this whole thing with running, right? Like a lot of this stuff is all kind of intertwined from, uh, from a health standpoint. So this was a lot of my realization of like when I was sitting there going, man, I feel like an 80 year old man. I have all these really crappy thoughts going through my head, feeling anxious and whatnot. Um, I have sleep poor quality. I've gained a massive amount of weight. I feel like my relationships are starting to fall apart. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, I just was not happy. And then I discovered running. Then I discovered that it could be different, that you can change, that you can overcome the issues that you go through, right? I don't know if you're feeling like that. I don't know if you go through that, right? Like, I, I'm not sure kind of what everyone's point of awakening is. A point of, wow, 
I don't feel so good. Or maybe you've experienced your times start to, you know, increase and you're like, oh, I'm not like I once was. You know, then you're dealing with the ego and that sucks. And dealing with ego is something that I've also had to deal with, right? Over the last number of years, you know, going from running a, a 50 miler to now I'm running about, you know, maybe I could probably run a half marathon. That's not a problem, but kind of haven't gone past that point yet. Just, you know, time related because of work and I haven't really made it a priority. I mean, I will, but it's just the reality of where I am at the moment. But, you know, we all start running for our own reasons. And sometimes you need to have a day one. Sometimes it's going to suck when you go out there to run. And the next day it's going to suck. Maybe it sucks a little bit less. But as each and every day goes by, it, maybe it doesn't suck a little bit less. Maybe it gets harder. Maybe then you want to quit. But then what's worse, not changing or quitting? What becomes the pain and pleasure? Like where's that, where that point right, in all of this, right? I've seen my times go back up and I beat myself up, you know, because I'm on this YouTube channel and I'm like, ah, you know, this is, this is what you got to do. You got to run slower to get faster. And, and maybe, you know, your, your VO2 max has now gone down and that sucks. And this is how I'm doing to come back to get better. It's just a different chapter in life. Every chapter in my life has a meaning. And when I fail, the more times that I fail, the more times I win, the more times I get up and I look and go, okay, what did I learn from that failure? And that's something that I do every single day, whether it's in business, whether it's just life in general, whether it's in my, my fitness journey, whatever it is, I can look at a scale and go, oh my gosh, I got to get back on camera and let everybody know that I still suck at losing weight. Come on, Dave, you've done this before. You made a video on this. You know how to do this. But why isn't it happening? I haven't really made it that big of a priority. I say that I want to do it, but it's lip service. Right? So, I don't know. I guess why I'm saying all of these things to you is when I started running, I, there was different reasons why. But now that I've started to run, man, everything has kind of come full circle and I can see how all of the puzzle pieces have come together and how it makes me a better person, how it makes me a better runner, a person who wants to improve themselves and put themselves out on camera every single week, document what it is I'm doing to become a better person. It's just how I roll. And so when I look at this, right? I could, I could stop right now and say, look, I've had a great time doing this whole sport. I'm going to pack it in and start something different. But I don't because I know that the joy that I get from doing what I do, just, it's like a hamster wheel, right? It just, you get going and it's like, whoa, you just want to keep on going. That's what keeps, because I know the, all the good feelings. I know everything's there. You know what I mean? And so I'm improving. I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying what I've become, right? I'm enjoying this side of my life. And to me, I can't put a price on that, right? But if you want to know how I lost the weight when I started my whole running journey, if you want to know how I did that, then this video right here will help you on that journey. Like I always say, get out and run. I'll see you next week.